so so what i'm saying is uh, every word accepted by this dfa will start from the starting state one and the automation will eventually reach any of the accepting state okay so in terms of rijk notation uh, what is the equivalent regular expression for it any guess don't sit idle means uh, either you answer something or means you give it try uh, otherwise it will be boring what i am saying is suppose uh, suppose uh, uh, can you tell me a, a word uh, that will be accepted by this dfa suppose ba simplest word ba will be accepted by this dfa or not okay so if this is a, a word accepted by this dfa what i can say i can say that this is equivalent this belongs to what, which regular expression it is of r 1 2 okay and uh, it has zero states in between is it correct because it is just a transition single transition okay or i can say that it is one also sorry r 1 2 1 because it is 1 then 1 then 2 which means it is r 1 2 1 okay if i say if i say b b a a suppose so then what will be my regular expression you can uh, first create the arrow things so it will be 1 from 1 it remains at 1 then it goes to 2 then it goes to 3 so it will be r 1 3 2 mm-hmm. okay so i can say say that any words uh, let me uh, sorry let me write it in a uh, with this format so i can say that any word accepted by a dfa can be written as how it can be written it as r1 f1 n plus r1 f2 n plus r1 f3 n where what is this f1 f2 f3 so one one you are clear one is the starting state okay now f1 f2 f3 are what final states okay and what is this n n is the total number of states so at the worst case what can happen at the worst case for accepting a word the fsm can cover all the states okay all the n states okay and reach at one of the final state f1 f2 f3 okay and it cannot go beyond n because the total number of states are n okay so i can represent it as r1 f1 n which means r1 f1 n what it represents it represents i am starting from state 1 and eventually reaching at f1 and covering the entire state while accepting a language okay similarly r1 f2 n represents from 1 to f2 and covering the all the states understood so this is the way so so for a given uh, dfa i can always so this is the language 
accepted by the DFA and its regular expression is represented as R1F1N, R1F2N and R1 like this. So, whatever is the number of final, whatever is the final set of states are there, this way we write, okay. Now, now how will you prove, uh, how will you find out this R1F1N, how will you find out, okay. So, let us start with uh, So, for k is equal to 0, suppose r i j k, okay. Now, if I have k is equal to 0, so if k is equal to 0, so what does this represents? r i j 0, what it represents? Tell me. So, r i j 0 represents set of all single letters that are consumed while moving from state i to state j without because 0 means what from i to j there is no intermediate state okay means the way we are representing it like 1 1 2 3 so if i do not have any 1 and 2 so from 1 to 3 if i have a direct transition and i consume either a or b then i can say that r130 will will have uh, the letter a okay from state i to state j understood now suppose, now suppose assume, so let us assume this way that uh, how will you compute R i j uh, k, okay. So suppose, uh, uh, let us I have already calculated R i j k minus 1, okay. So, so let me write it in this way. So my starting state is i, okay. I move the automata to any state, suppose, suppose here I encounter k, okay, and then I go to the final state j, okay. Now, in, uh, in k also, there can be possible transition which will start from k and end at k, understood? There can be many transitions which will start at k and end at k, but they will not, uh, but they will not uh, cover any uh, states greater than k. Understood? Suppose this, uh, so suppose the entire thing represents R i j k. Okay. So the R i j k is the FSM transition from state i to state j, while going through all the states not greater than k means while going through all the states less than or equal to k. So, I break the transitions into three uh, into three categories. One is from i to k, one is from k to k, the loop, looping things and another is the k to j, okay. So, how will I write it down? So, the first part I can say that this represents a regular expression r i k k minus 1 correct any doubt okay then the looping things it can have multiple loops so i can say this will be r k k k minus 1 and since we can have more than 